Hello, everyone. Welcome. My name is Sherry, and this is Practical Stitches, and we are live. Hello, Christine. I see Christine is here. How are you making out with your skirt? And happy Easter, everyone. This is a Easter long weekend. And I haven't really gotten a lot of sewing done this week. And I see my camera is awry. Okay, that's better. Hello, Sue. How are you? And happy Easter. So is everyone busy doing Easter celebrations this weekend? Or are you going to have time to do some sewing last minute for So Frugal? I am good and happy Easter. I didn't get a lot of sewing done this week because um, I had some doctor's appointments. And... I guess they kind of drug me down a little bit. <laughs> My hip is not doing as well as it should be. But all is good. It's just taking longer to heal than expected. So I did start my top. I am working on Simplicity 9889, which I showed you last week on the live out of this. Actually, this is stretch. Is this is a stretch cotton. And so there's the top with the little loops. It has three Rolo loops on there. And I'll, I have the bottom part all sewn together. The peblum part is all sewn together. And I just interface the collar. So I sewed the shoulders together to see if it fits. And it does. So now I have to unpick this because I got to serge the seams. So, yes, it's been a very rainy day here today. I think it was even thunder and lightning this afternoon. It's been really warm, but very rainy. Rainy and dreary for a good, which is pretty much usual for Good Friday. A dreary day. So so is anybody doing any Easter egg hunts with their grandchildren this weekend or their families those can be fun so I said it was sunny it's sunny in Alabama, and Christine is getting snow. Wow. It sounds like Western Canada is getting snow. I think I've seen something, a post from Janine in Calgary. She's saying it was snowing as well. Oh. So the little ones are going away for the weekend. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, so nothing exciting is going on around here. I've actually been kind of tired from my long week of travel and uh doctor's appointments. I did get some happy mail. Oh, hello. So notes is here. It's snowing here too. Where are you from? 
We got some happy mail this week, which is a beautiful card from a viewer. <laughs> Don't know where the camera is. That is all little pieces of paper. It's a uh, quilling. Isn't that gorgeous? And to be made into a picture. So this is somebody I met through a uh, dresser girl. And uh, she sent me a nice little card. It's very pretty. So that cheered me up. I never even said her thank you yet. So thank you, Dawn. I don't think she watches all my videos, but yes. What am I missing in the chat? Yes, yeah, someone else, you'll have to let us know where you're from. So as you can see, I did work on this this week this week besides starting my top this is full of hexes i do have this long strip sewn together which was sewn on here at this end but i decided to take it off i think i had it because i'm trying to make it go dark to light like in patches so and I had it like in here, so I took it off. So that will obviously it's not the right size yet. Nowhere near. Oh, Edna is here. Happy Easter, Edna. Hello and welcome. So yes, I've been working on this. So my basket is getting so full. This has my... Uh, papers in here, my papers and my fabric pieces, so these are all, so my basket is full, so I thought, well, I might as well start selling them together, so I was enjoying, it gets a little addictive doing English paper piecing. So what is everyone working on this weekend if you are going to be sewing? I'd love to know. So yes, I'm working on this and I think I'm going to have to work on it in sections. And for some reason, I have it in my mind, it has to be 50 hexes wide. So that's why I have this. I did, just did one long piece. So I was going to just, but it's quite awkward to work on. So I'm not sure. And I don't even think that's going to be 50 if I sewed that onto here. So, but I think that will look good when it's done. This is all fabric that I dyed. And I tried to get various shades of color. So, Sue says she is still quilting up her scraps. That will take a very long time. <laughs> Um, Christine says she's still stuck on the French theme pockets of the Sabina skirt. I'll get it figured out tomorrow. Yeah, sometimes when you're doing something that you have to flip, it can get confusing. I know I can easily get confused. I actually, on my shirt, I can't tell my left from my right. <laughs> And just before I turned this on, I was looking at the directions and I thought, oh no, I did it backwards. But I think I got it going the right way. Because I think these roller loops are supposed to be on the right, which they are. Now that I took the shoulders apart, I can't hold it up. And that's my right. <laughs> I think that's right. 
it's gonna and i've already taken it off once and changed it so i i'm pretty sure i got it going the right way now so i did pin this all together and try it on to make sure that it fit and it does and i think i cut out the view that is a little too long because i did do the longer version oh bottom one and I probably should have done the shorter one. But we'll see. I could always cut some off if it's too long. So Edna, what are you working on? And so notes. We'd love to hear from you. See what you're working on. Yes. Oh, looks like Edna's been busy. She is getting the frill put on the dress and doing some knitting too. Excellent. She's knitting. Oh, I don't have them here. She's knitting these cute little stars. They're right tiny. I think I took a picture and it's on... Might be on my Instagram, I believe. Facebook for sure, I think. I'm not on Facebook very often. So I've been working on a script <laughs> for a video and yeah, I'm trying. I'm not sure if it'll be the video for this Tuesday or not, but I've been working on that as well. So it's not like I haven't been doing anything. I have been doing some things. I just didn't get anything finished. But this takes a lot of time. Holy moly! I'll be making that for ever. <laughs> I hope not. Oh dear. Um, Sus, oh. <laughs> Edna, you, you're going to have to go to Sue's house. She wants you to teach her to net. She can't find anyone to teach her. Well, I certainly don't know how. I'm not able to do that. I did try knitting once and I did actually knit a thing, but, and I have knit a sweater before, like on round needles, but I just don't understand the language, I think. My sister is a beautiful knitter and she says it's easy and anybody can learn how to do it. <laughs> I'm left handed, so I, I find it a very awkward thing to do. But you can make some beautiful things knitting. It is an art all on its own. Although crocheting, I would like to do. So for the video that I am, Sue says she can crochet, but she's all thumbs when it comes to knitting. I know Christine, she does quite a bit of crochet as well. Yes, I like to do some crochet, but I don't do it all the time. Basically, a scarf and afghan type of crocheter. Although I have seen a couple things on Pinterest. I've been spending a lot of time on Pinterest for this video that I'm working on for you guys. I don't want to spoil it in case I something happens and I can't seem to get it all put together but yeah it should be an interesting one. Oh, that's right Christine knows how to knit too she knows how to do everything she loves knitting and crocheting both yes such clever people you all are everyone is so talented 
Yes. So I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like for the rest of the weekend, if it's going to be nice. I did go for a walk today in between the downpours and rain. Um, Christine. <laughs> Christine says, not in seam, French seam pockets. Yeah, that would be confusing, I'm sure. Did I say that? In seam? French seam? <laughs> Christine is having problems with her pockets. They're supposed to be French seam pockets. And yes, turning them inside out and right side around would be confusing. I can see how that would be confusing. Some of my stitches are coming out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Christine, she said, she said, I said that she knows everything. She does. She knows plenty. She makes all kinds of beautiful things. And she says she doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. You'll figure it out. Um, what am I making a script for again? It's so I don't say so a thousand times. And yes. And and <laughs> it's to try and trick me into not saying those words. Well, my hair is really, I had it braided and I washed my hair today. And I took the braid out because it looked really messy. And now I think my hair looks worse. Um, it's mostly a talking video. It's like a, about the wardrobe, like creating how to put it all together. No, oh, that would be too fake just yourself. Oh, it, it annoys me when I edit videos. Sometimes I can't edit them all out. <laughs> it, you can play a drinking game with how many times I say so. And not sewing so, like S-O. It's terrible. I do know other English words. <laughs> Apparently not very many. Um, Christine says your hair is so nice and thick. I agree with Sue. You're awesome. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't feel awesome all the time. And Sue says it doesn't bother her. Oh, well, you will now that I pointed it out. <laughs> now that I've noticed it, you'll be counting them. I think there was one video I did. My sister, she thinks it's really funny. Um, I was trying to edit them out and I couldn't get them all out. And I must have said it about five times in the first less than three minutes of the video. Because I was all proud of myself thinking, oh, I never said it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said it even more. So just trying to make the videos a little bit better so I don't sound... See, I just said it. I don't even know that I say it. Oh, I say it way too much. Too many times. Not necessary. <laughs> I'm my worst critic. Yeah. Well, it's hard to sit and watch yourself on camera and you think, oh. Don't, don't say it, don't say it, and then flies out of my mouth. Not cool. Now I can't say anything because it's, 
scared I'm going to say it again. It's terrible. It's a, what is it, like a nervous twitch or something? You s repeat a word so many times. <clears throat> Sue says, that's why I don't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, who has a new YouTube channel? Uh, Nicola. She is friends with Sean from uh, Kittenish Behavior. And she just started a channel, and I think it's going to be pretty good. And Sue, you would like it, I think. Have you seen it yet? It's uh, called All About the Outfit. Sue says, it's a filler. I think you hate silence and have to fill it up. Well, I'm supposed to be entertaining you, not boring you to death. <laughs> With me saying all the filler words. Okay, so, let's see, I said it again. Sue says she's going to check out Nicola's channel. Um, I think she only has like two or three videos out. She's a wardrobe stylist is what she is. And she does people's colors and she lives in England on the Isle of Wight. And she wants to teach people different ways to style their outfits. And so that is right up your street. So, yeah. All about the outfit is what it's called. Okay. So Sue's going to check that out. Edna, did you get my post? It looks faded, so I'm not sure if it posted. I assume that's on Facebook. I don't have Facebook on my phone. Sue says, oh, goodness, I need that help. Um, she's doing a series, her first one video Nicola all about the outfit she did like a black skirt and different way shirts and different ways you can wear a black skirt <laughs> oh Sue you're evil to the core counting the sows uh oh I'm probably at a thousand already. Uh, what am I looking for? Do I don't see any notifications, Edna? So no, I don't think I did get it. I don't see it. So you have to tell me what it is, Edna. Um, now I'm going to say that word. Okay. Christine says, do you think you are a winter? Well, many, 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 many years ago when I was a teenager, and of course my hair was not this color, I don't remember getting my colors done, but I remember my mother giving me this little booklet with the colors in it. And I'm supposed to be a summer, but I don't like any of those colors. <laughs> so I don't know if I don't think it changes. So. But I don't actually remember getting it done. Like, I don't remember somebody putting the things on me or anything. Christine says she's an autumn. Those are the colors that I like to wear. Are, uh, 
earthy tones. Speaking of autumn, saying autumn. <laughs> like I like oranges and browns and khakis and all those earthy colors. <laughs> no, I know you're not being mean. I was, I was just kidding, Sue. She's just picking at at me. Well, I'd be interested to know how many so's that I do say. <laughs> if anybody's counting. You'll run out of paper, I'm sure. Oh. And I was... Oh, you're having problems with the... Uh, with your comments. Okay, it's Edna's turn this week. Usually Sue has a problem. She was saying that she's a self-taught knitter. Well, it does matter. Sue wants you to go to Alabama and teach her. <laughs> Sue says she's not counting. Well, if you do, I would be embarrassed with how many times I say so. Just talking about it, I've already said it, like, a dozen times. And Sue says she's not seeing many comments. Well, I'm pretty sure it's not turned off and we had somebody new commenting. Let's see. No. It doesn't appear. Oh, I've just discovered something. I'm going to try it. No, I'm not, because now I can't think of a question. I was going to create a poll. Um, Sue says, I see a few, but I don't think I see them all. So maybe people are having a hard time in the comments. Okay. Wonder if that worked. Sorry, everyone. I'm just a uh, Trying to see if there's something going on here. Looks like some of the chat is not working. Um, yeah, I think that that was the problem. Okay. Let's see if that helped. Okay. Sue says, Soto's probably replied to you and we can't see it. You need a passport to come here. Yeah, you do need a passport to go from Canada to the United States. I don't know why my chat, I click the same thing every time. All right. There's nothing else I can click on while I'm in here. Yeah, I think people get fed up and left. Sorry about that. Yeah. It, it said top chat instead of live chat. So I guess just YouTube decides who is the top chatter. <laughs> I don't know. 
Christine, if you're still there, let us know if uh, if you are still able to type anything. Um, yes, Sue does live in Alabama, and you do need passport to cross the border now. Yes, back in the 80s, you didn't really need one if you were just going for the day, but you do now. Christine says she's seeing everything. Okay, that's good. And you could chat, so I don't know. I don't understand why it's doing that. You just have to be a subscriber. That's the only thing far as I know, to chat because I don't have a moderator. Uh, Edna, yes, we need a passport to cross border. Yes, we do. Cannot go to the States anymore without a passport. Yes, when I was going to university, me and some friends, uh, we used to drive to Maine. I think we did it a couple times. Um, hello, Chloe. Hi, who is actually Sherry, I believe. Um, we are all doing well. We're just uh, thought the chat wasn't working properly. Um, so I'm glad that you were able to say hello. Um, Sue says, I don't know why they are coming here in droves without passports. <laughs> and Sue is saying hello. Yes. Another word I say a lot, but it's better than the other one. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So I was talking about my hexes. I started sewing my them together because my basket is full. I think there might be 500 of them in here. So I only need another 1,500. <laughs> yes, that word. You want me to say it, don't you, Sue? And I'm not going <laughs> to. I don't want to say it anymore. I think I need to get another basket for all of these because they are... I need orange. So yeah, there is a lot of hexes in here. But a lot more to do. And I thought if... I, I almost said it. <laughs> I thought if I started sewing them together it would uh, keep me inspired to work on it but it's very addictive once you start sewing them together so what are you what are your Easter plans Sherry Wondering what everyone is doing this Easter weekend. Are people getting their so frugal makes finished up? I guess that my video did quite well uh, this week for the. <laughs> Sue's teasing me. Um, <laughs> Sue says, yes, please say it. <laughs> I saw a video about a new way to make a quilt block with two layer cake blocks. Well, where'd you see this video? I am intrigued. I want to know. 
And what else were we talking about? So Chloe can get all caught up. Um, no, I'm saying that. YouTube. Oh, you're such a smart aleck. <laughs> Sue is a smart aleck today. <laughs> um, and now I don't know any English words and I can't even talk. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Now it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> oh. We were talking about uh, a wardrobe stylist just started a YouTube channel all about the outfit. Her name is Nicola. Um, let's say that word. Sue says it's called Crafty Quilt Designs. Someone is being checked, Sherry. She's laughing. Yes, I am being checked. Okay. But don't look it up. I'll forget. What am I doing? Oh. I know I saw a funny uh, mug today on Instagram. It said a list of things like I forget what I'm doing and where's my coffee and I don't know. It was funny. Da, 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 crafty quilt designs. I know I don't have to look this up right now, but if I don't, I won't remember. I'll forget the name. And then the comments, they're all gone, so I can't check them later. I meant cheeky. <laughs> Someone's being checked. Well, I should be checked for lots of things. Oh, wow. I like the uh, design on. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh. Is this the one? Can I blow it up? No, I can't. Scraps to quilt. See what scraps can do. I'm shocked. Is that the one you're talking about, Sue? That one? <laughs> Sue says, I'm on fire tonight. I haven't had anyone to pick at all week. My husband has lost his sense of humor. His retirement is rough, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. It's a new way to do quilt as you go. Oh, I'm interested. But that's the one that you were talking about, though. That's the right one. I'm going to check it out later. And I know Michelin uh, from Miss You Makes just put a video up today. Yes. L-A. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. My little heart has disappeared. So I... There, I said it. Oh, it's called Quilt As You Go for Beginners. Okay. I'm just looking. Wow, they have all kinds of videos. So, yeah. 501. <laughs> I really hope I haven't said it 501 times, but it is a possibility. <laughs> it is definitely possible. Oh, dear. You could play a drinking game every time I say the S-O word. <laughs> it, you would be on the floor. Yeah. 
Therefore, <laughs> to think of a new word. so the projects I'll be working on this weekend is hopefully finishing this top. Get that done so I can start something else. I want to make the jacket. Oop, I just lost my cane. I'm forever dropping that on the floor. I want to start making the jacket, that new pattern I showed you last week, which is no longer near me. I think I put it somewhere. Sue says she wishes, but she doesn't drink anymore. Well, you could eat chocolates. <laughs> Or just drink lots of water. <laughs> she says yes to the chocolate, I think. Absolutely. Because may the Easter Bunny will come and you can eat chocolate eggs. And I hope to get a video filmed this weekend. Trying to get one ahead. And I almost said it again. <laughs> I'm trying to get one ahead. And then I won't be behind. Because I try and post on Tuesdays. But sometimes the editing brings me into Wednesday or it just takes so long to upload that because we all know that I my internet is not the most fabulous and I think there is something wrong with the chat because it is faded for me on here too I don't know why um <laughs> doesn't everybody love hearing that word Oh, Chloe, excellent. She finally completed a project on her new sewing machine. She made underwear. What uh, pattern did she use, Chloe? Inquiring minds want to know. Sue says that quilt channel looks promising. I watched a couple of her videos. Yeah, I... Yeah, it looks like a good one. I've never I haven't watched that one before, I don't think. I'm just I'm not in the right spot to uh why why is this happening? <clears throat> videos. Yeah, I'm not even on the right page. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of interesting scrappy ideas. Um, Sue is asking Chloe, how does it so her new machine. She has a new Viking, I believe. Or a new to her Viking. I'm not sure. Um, Chloe says, I cut up an old pair that fit really well and I watched a bunch of videos about sewing elastic. Oh, excellent. So you drafted your own pair, basically. Um... Excellent. And Sue says she makes her own pattern and sells them on Etsy. Chloe says it sews very well. Yes, Viking quilt designer. Ooh, it sounds fancy. Uh, Chloe says the pattern was weird because they were so old, but it ended up fitting well. Well, that's the main thing, right? If they're comfortable, that is 
that is half the battle right there. That's always the battle, making it fit. Sue says, oh, wow, that's a great machine. It sounds like a beauty. Yes, and Sue agrees. That's the goal, get a good fit. Absolutely, 100%. Good for you. Excellent. Yay. Because you were saying that you need to be inspired. Yes, I'm not even sure if I'm going to like this top when I finally get it done. Because of the video that I am planning on doing, which is basically about uh, making a wardrobe that you're going to love to wear. Oh, my hair is like a cobweb. It's sticking to me everywhere. It's wild today. Chloe says the machine is over my head, but I am learning. Oh, Sue knows all about that machine. She said it will sell almost anything you can think of. Excellent. You'll be putting some miles on it then. That's excellent. I am happy for Chloe and her new sewing machine and all that it can do. I know this machine that I have, the embroidery unit still makes me scratch my head sometimes. Sue says that is inspirational. That her machine can sew anything. <laughs> uh, Christine says she's looking forward to your wardrobe video. I don't know if it'll come out this Tuesday, but maybe the following Tuesday. It depends how long it takes me to, because I haven't filmed it yet, but it's mostly a trillion pictures and not of me, <laughs> just uh, images and trying to edit them into a video, which is why I wrote a script. And that's why Sue was teasing me about because I said I didn't want to say so a million times and pause and try and remember what I'm supposed to say or look at my, I usually just make a list and bullet points because if I write it out too much, I never say it word for word. So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> if I talk off my head, I say all the words that you don't want to hear. I'm trying to sound more intelligent, but it's not working tonight. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> and there Sue does it again. Um, Sue has been checking out all the free patterns from the So Frugal videos. There are some good ones. Yes, there is. There's a lot of really great patterns out there. And I'm actually wondering why I even bought one because I have I forget what it's called the paleo, paleo jacket I know Michelin just made like two or three of them I've, I have it all printed out it's not stuck together but it's all printed out and I never got around to making it and I do need a spring jacket so I don't really need one, but I would like to have a different one. And I'm thinking about making a couple, actually. 
So maybe I'll compare it, do a comparison video to a, but it's a completely different style than the jacket I showed you last week, which just basically a jean jacket with the, no collar it's the words that see i can't even talk uh so there are so many patterns now they're starting to look similar to each other yeah absolutely it seems like every designer is putting out the exact same patterns probably for competing with each other and then they do a slight spin on it I know you could pick a pattern and then say you can get a similar one from all these companies. Because a lot of people don't like using these, but I find these are easier for me to obtain and are cheaper than the indie ones. So. <laughs> There you go. Uh, da -da. Okay. Christine, you've written out some kind of anagram and I don't know what it means. I'm, I think she's saying I'm with you all the way. Um, <laughs> that she wrote, oops. <laughs> so maybe that's not what she meant to write. I'm working full-time now and need more clothes, dressy clothes. Ooh. Absolutely. Do you look on Pinterest, Christine? Because I know I've been spending a lot of time there and trying to... Because that is um, the thing that I'm trying to figure out is what is my style? And so I'm just clicking on pictures that I like and I start a file in Pinterest and put them all together which you will see some of the pictures in that video that is to come hopefully in the near future in the next couple of weeks um Chloe says I love that jacket I just try to cut up old things that fit but it is efficient but not that fun <laughs> That would not be all that fun, cutting something out to get a pattern out of, if that's what you are meaning. That would be, that would be very time consuming. Well, Christine, you should get on Pinterest. It is a great time waster because <laughs> once you get on there, you're growing forever, but it is really good to collect images and say, okay. And then, cause I'm trying to figure out what my style is. There's like, uh, I don't know. There's so many different styles. I don't even know what I have to look them up and then type them in and say, well, do I like any of those things? Cause I think I like, uh, I always say I'm casual, but when I look up casual, it's not really what I am. So <laughs> there you go. Eat another chocolate, Sue. And Sue is all with Chloe on, I think it's fun to use old clothes to make new ones. I buy from thrift shop, the biggest size that I can find, that's yardage. Excellent. Excellent. You can probably get some really unique fabrics that way. Absolutely. That is a really good idea. Absolutely. Yeah, so I really, and that's, that, there's a channel that I'm watching lately is The Perfect Jacket. I've been watching that. She makes some wild looking uh, Chanel jackets. <laughs> it's 
Sue, you really are on fire tonight. She says, I'm casual, sloppy, and frugal. That's my style. Well, that might be my style as well. <laughs> Sue is laughing. You're so funny. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, I think it's a good way to, and it, it gives you ideas like inspiration for some closing pro projects. And I actually have a file on bags. I think I have a file. I'm calling it a file. I don't know. I guess they're called boards in Pinterest. And you can, you can make them public too, but anyway. Thank you, Stash. Thank you, Christine. Oh, dear. Um, Chloe, that is very good to get fabric from the thrift shop, but it's hard to, but is it hard to redo it? And Sue says, I can get fabrics that I normally could not afford. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. I know I've gotten. Uh, <laughs> it looks like my uh, thing is flashing like light. I don't know why. I must be moving and the camera is having a hard time with the uh, lighting. Oh, my goodness. There. I'm just putting a little thing down. It's right under the dining room light, and now I'm blind because I just looked at it. Um, yes, I know I got, um, I used to go thrift shopping all the time, and I got some really nice silk shirts that I would never be able to afford. But I didn't remake them into anything, I just wore them the way they were. Um, Sue says, no, it's not. If you get a big enough size, yeah, you would have to get a larger size. Um, Christine says, you can also get sheets at thrift shop to use to practice your pattern before cutting into your precious fabric. And Sue says she buys silk ties to make bias tape. That's interesting. And Christine, yes, absolutely. That is the best way probably to make muslins. And some people just find sheets and make dresses out of them or whatever, a blouse or whatever. Christine says, that's cool, Sue. What a great idea. That is a great idea, Sue. She is so clever. She is definitely on fire today. Sue says, sheets, curtains, shower curtains is what I use for muslins. Yeah, shower curtains would be really good because it would be easier to draw on. Like you could mark them up. Christine says, nobody wants them in our shop and they are beautiful. I might try that. It's a good idea. Um, so... Sue says the ties are already cut on the bias. Yes, they would be. That's an excellent idea. I've seen uh, shirts and skirts made out of ties as well. They, they look really neat. And curtains, and you can make whatever you want. You can make whatever you want at almost anything. Absolutely. And I think, talking about Pinterest again, you, I think you can save stuff from Instagram as well. So if you're not on Pinterest, you can do it on Instagram. Sue so says, I saw a quilt made of ties. I think I have two and pretty amazing. <laughs> and I don't remember either, Sue. So. Sue so says, now I don't know where I saw it. I don't know where I saw it either. But it wouldn't be hard to probably Google it. 
if you wanted to. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. Well, there, I think Sue has inspired us all this evening. <laughs> Sue says it would take a boatload of ties. Absolutely. A boatload. A truckload. Yeah, and they're all made of silk. And some of them are, well, not all of them, but I'm, some of them are. And they're nice, uh, thick, too. Thick fabric, some of them. Chloe says, thank you, Sue. And Christine wants to know, does the silk binding wash well? And Sue says, yes, it would definitely not be an, I don't know what that means, LTL. I'm not good with the, what do they call the anagrams? <laughs> I must think get hit with a stick tonight before uh, I get on here. Well, it's been an hour of me saying a bunch of foolish words. Sue says, yes, it does wash well, but it wrinkles. That means less than a truckload. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like that one. Less than a truckload. <laughs> oh my, Sue, so you're cracking me up tonight. Okay, well, I hope everyone, I wish everybody luck and hope they get drawn in the So Frugal thing on Sunday. And I think I... I said, I didn't know what day it was. Last week I said Izzy was going to be, she said she was going to be putting out her quilt block at the end of the month, which I guess is the 31st, and I thought the 31st was going to be last week. I don't know what day it is. So that was a misspoken thing that I said. Not that it matters. <laughs> Really, but I was completely confused what day it was. The days are all blending together for me. I don't know what's happening. Um, Sue says that's a real thing. I mean, less than a truckload. I believe you. And Sue says you're welcome, Chloe. And Edna is saying night, night, everyone. And I am going to, too. So... Yes, yeah, see you next Friday. Happy Easter, everyone, and happy sewing. And I will see you next time. <laughs>